Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Good as Gold number 27 on Wednesday, May 9th. I am your caster, ORD, that's ORD. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. You can see all those things there, but the game is about to start. So once that loading screen goes away, we're ready to go in. Welcome to Tiny Harry versus Flying Penguin. Sorry for the short intro, just wanted to double check and we do indeed have the nameplates backwards. That's so terrible. We do not want to confuse people with the supplies. So I'm going to change that quite quickly. We have Flying Penguin in the blue on the left. Tiny Harry in the red on the right and he is Zerg. Update. Bam. Everything switched and now a better introduction for the winner in the first round. We just finished casting him. Look for the VOD if you missed it. Flying Penguin, our blue terror. In the upper right hand corner with some fascinating BlizzCon 2011 little emblems here and I have no idea how he got that. I'm looking at chat. Thank you, Robogunner, for saying the quality is good so far. Please tell me what's going on here. How did he get these? I am extremely jealous. I want them, too. I was at BlizzCon 2011. I didn't get them. Wham. Anyway, the guy I'm jealous of, the Zerg player in the red shorts, Tiny Harry. Need to register? Robogunner, is there a place I can register to get cool things? I think. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. Thank you for even that. I had no idea. So now we have a little bit of expansion denial coming out of Flying Penguin, our Zerg flare. Tiny Harry seems to have just decided to take the third. Wow, he went really far out of his way. Now he's just gonna take the second. A uh, few seconds late, but it's not a big deal. However, he uh, has had several drones off the minerals, off the mining patches, and that can be a big deal because each worker mines at a rate of 40 minerals per game minute that's right per blizzard 60 seconds and i believe one blizzard second is something like eight tenths of a real second or like 8.79 parts of a real second this drone gets caught marine gets to kill him and the drone doesn't oh he does one hit of damage well at least he got to be spiteful before he died and then a little bit of raise and lower out of flying penguin who's just, I guess, showing off his victory. The Overlord from Tiny Harry is making its slow, creeping way down to check on this gas, or no, it's not going to. I guess he's afraid that that Marine may be back over here, and that's actually a fantastic idea. If you put your Marines on patrol over here, you can sometimes catch an Overlord because they may go too far before your opponent, your Zerg opponent, grabs it and moves it back. Flying Penguin is now leaving with his scout, having seen that there's an expansion, a gas down, and a spawning pool, which is now complete, and we have a drone transfer going on. The production tab tells us four Zerglings are on the way. Opening the unit tab, we see that's going to bring us up to four Zerglings in total. Meanwhile, he's droning up pretty decently. He's got 16 against the 19 SUVs of Flying Penguin who's only got two Marines so far, is going to have one more. Went with that early second command center and that early second gas. He's got two in each gas. He's really got a couple of these builds nailed out. I've seen a couple of very similar things to what he's doing done before, and it's really rewarding to see a player do them effectively. We would like to have high level of competition in our tournament. Yes, indeed we do. A scout from Tiny Harry coming down, checking the fact that there's no expansion down yet. However, it's being upgraded to an orbital, and that is information that he does not have. He's putting down a spine crawler when he really doesn't need to just yet. That is just money that he's losing. He's probably putting this this spine crawler down two game minutes before he needs to, which means that this worker is not mining, so that's 80 minerals that he's, he's never going to get. He's never getting it back. 
And that's unfortunate. And that's something that Zerg players really have to debate with every time they play against Terran. Is he going double reactor Hellions? Am I going to need like three spine crawlers? Or can I get away with one? Or maybe I can I get away with zero? We see the early Evo chamber, probably for some early upgrades or perhaps to protect him from any Banshee play, which Zerg are very weak against early game. We have an SCV in this Marine group here. And now an SCV moving out first. Zergling. Probably going to die pretty soon, but will he see the orbital? Will he get to see it? This is a big moment for Tiny Harry. If he sees that indeed his opponent has expanded and he does get to see it, great job from this Zergling, and he may even stay hidden. Oh, no, now Marine only gets one hit to himself, and the Zergling dies. However, Tiny Harry is aware that his Terran opponent, Flying Penguin, is expanding, and hopefully we see him moving out to take the third right now with this guy. We're going to follow him. Is he... Is he taking it? He's moving? Oh, I know we could look ahead and we could find out, but that would ruin the tension of the moment. Is he expanding or is he two base all in? Nope, he's expanding. Yep, he's expanding. <laughs> and we see an interesting miss rally for some overlords. That's okay. Eventually they'll be spread and he'll get some pretty good vision. Overlord back here to make sure no silly. Dropship play is going to be happening. Always very frustrating for people when they play against Terran. We see some Marines polishing off one Zergling. Moving forward to take his own log. And they have two Zerglings they're going to have to fight. Really would have been good to see Tiny Harry pull those. Interesting micro out of Flying Penguin. Not sure why he did that. But he did. And now he controls both Zelnaga Towers and really has some pretty decent vision. However, he has not scanned. He has not done anything recently. Wow, a lot of Zerglings coming out now. I wonder if Tiny Harry believes that an attack is imminent. Let's let's open back up that unit's tab. See, we have 16 Marines and only 13, or rather 16 Zerglings. 15 Marines on the field right now. A little bit of a Zergling split up, and they're definitely, wow, going to get that surrounded. These Marines... Although they're in a very nice position against the Zelnaga, so they can't be completely surrounded, die effectively. SCVs are already pulled, and Flying Penguin is prepared to hold this. Great decision out of Tiny Harry to pull back. However, he doesn't know that Flying Penguin is being greedy again. He's taking his third beat. Would have been great to see an Overlord hanging out somewhere around up here. So he could just float on by, wander on by, and then perhaps be suicided into the expansion, or just hang out at the edge to see the timing on these gases, which is important for knowing what tech timing your Terran opponent is taking. We do see Tiny Harry still sitting and hovering at 50 supply. Now these Lings get to see a big bio ball moving out, and what kind of reaction does that force? Uh, 13 roaches! That, that's a reaction. It's uh, interesting to see our Zerg player supply staying so low. He's only on 35 drones and he's got three bases. Wow, no, he has two. I spoke too soon. He's only going to have two. <laughs> the drones get pulled and the extractor does not get canceled. That's unfortunate. A few drones are going to die unnecessarily. A roach is going to die. Not really sure why he's morphing these at all. Broodlings come out. We see just death. Just death and destruction. This bio ball is doing fantastic. We have the combat shield upgrade. We have the stim upgrade. Overlord here now. And Zer... Tiny Harry, rather, takes his third down there. He's okay with that. We have the scan coming down from Flying Penguin. He's going to move forward, take out a creep tumor. Probably take out a second creep tumor because he can't quite see. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of roaches. And he's leaving a few of his forces behind. Doesn't want to engage near the spine crawler. Goes to the bottom of the ramp. Okay, he can see, and the spine crawler cannot do any damage. Wow, though, the roach is doing some target firing. Everything that can gets picked up, and the other guys get picked off. And this SCV is going to be allowed to live. That's unfortunate. Really would love to see Tiny Harry grab control of the Zelnaga. That kind of vision is hugely important. Knowledge is power, if you know what I mean. This expansion not being done, aha, now being addressed by Flying Penguin, but no one quite there yet, so really, Tiny Harry's not falling that far behind in macro, however, a two-base Zerg against a two-base Terran normally puts the macro rate of the Zerg at a disadvantage, and we see an engagement going on, wow, just Bioforce is being ignored by Flying Penguin, being picked off, now the Roaches Definitely over committing a nice stim. If we move forward, we can take out the rest of these roaches. May have been too long. That stim's going to run out in just a moment. The roaches get split. I'm not even sure why. Some mutilists get rallied out to the roaches. 
another stim. Uh, would have been fine, actually, in this case, to take uh, the first couple of Marauders and two Marines and stim them. Could have definitely caught the whole force without doing all that damage to your own people. You also have a ton of SCVs here. And wow, Flying Penguin. I just realized he's going for the win right now. He doesn't want to play this game anymore. He's decided he has it won, that he killed enough roaches with that engagement, and there's really not a lot of mutas out. There's two, there's three, four, and if we target fire marines with these mutas and the queens just target fire marines in general, Tiny Harry's going to be able to hold this. Unfortunately, he does not do that, and the power of the medevacs and the marauders who just don't die force Tiny Harry to more than GG. He G G and says, well played, mate. I'd like to see that manor flying penguin. Says, thank you, heart. Yes, hearts go out to all of our day nine brethren. If you don't know who he is, check him out. He is extremely helpful for improving your play or for improving your enjoyment of an evening and or of StarCraft 2. We're waiting for that score screen to resolve. We see Tiny Harry ended up with a pretty big score disadvantage. We see the pretty graphs Tiny Harry leveled off in his army value and couldn't keep it ramped back up. Meanwhile, Flying Penguin continued to go up and up and up in our resource collection rate. Our Zerg player in the red, Tiny Harry, was below the entire game. And that is most unfortunate for him as he's been knocked out of good as gold, number 27, allowing Flying Penguin to move on yet again. And he will be in game number three. Check for the vods.